Okie dokie John Deere fans. There's not a video on the internet that points out the clutch adjustment on a 2010 John Deere. So I wanted to make a quick one to show you all where it's at. Uh, I'll just show it off here real quick. Uh, the clutch is on the left side of the tractor and the book actually points to the left side of the tractor right in front of the clutch pedal. But that's not where it is. Of course, the book I've got is very vague, so it could very well just been miscommunication in the reprint but this is the right side of the tractor here's your two brake pedals here's your clutch pedal adjustment uh, you loosen this hex nut uh, was 11 16 I believe loosen it up just so much and then you turn this little screw uh, I turned mine literally um, it'll, I don't know if, if it's supposed to go further, but when I had it, uh, had it loose, uh, I've never done this before, obviously. So I, I adjusted it all the way down. It only goes 90 degrees, you know, it's straight up and then straight down. Um, and then my clutch was way too loose. So I literally only adjusted it about 10 degrees to the right. And my clutch is about where I need it now, my clutch pedal. So, uh, hopefully this helps some people out. There's really aren't any diagrams on Google. There aren't any videos on YouTube of these old 2010 John Deere's. I think there was one video I found of a 3020. Someone was doing a split on it. Of course, when the clutches go bad in these tractors, you have to do what's known as a split. You'd have to uh, unbolt the front end from the back end and move the front end forward. And then your clutch is, you know, in between the two, between the engine and the transmission. So uh, I'm actually, I'm pretty happy. I guess I'll go ahead. And now that I've showed you guys, I wanted to get that out of the way. That's, that's where it is. There's your clutch adjustment. Easy to do. And uh, I was having issues with it. I was coming up the hill in high gear and it just slowed down and kind of stalled out. The engine kept running, you know, RPMs were good, but uh, I knew that the clutch, the clutch must have been slipping or something is what I thought was going on. So I immediately clutched it and got into a lower gear because that's not good on the flywheel. Just to let it sit there and keep spinning in gear. So, uh, yeah, I've been spending the last 24, 36 hours kind of fretting, thinking, oh no, the clutch is going out of our tractor. Well, of course, a big shout out to yesterday's tractors.com. They got a lot of great uh, old timers and experienced people on there that know a bunch about these old tractors. Did some asking around. I had a pretty good idea what's going on. You know, obviously it's clutch related. The transmission I don't think has any gear related problems because there's no grinding going on. Uh, the hydraulics are working perfectly. It's lifting up and down, so there's nothing wrong with the hydraulic pump. Uh, the steering's good. And like I said, you know, it wasn't bogging down, the gears weren't grinding, it's just, it, it wouldn't pull. You know, I was disking in fourth gear. Of course, you know, the ground's pretty level and it's in good shape, so it's okay to disc in a little bit higher gear. I was just losing power out here disking, and I didn't know what was going on. It was just completely coming to a stop almost, and I knew I had a huge problem going on there, so... Uh, I got some hydraulic oil was my first thing. I thought, well, maybe I'm low on hydraulic oil, but that didn't. Exp it wasn't a good explanation because, you know, my steering was good, three point was raising just fine, and uh, but that was the first thing I did. So I did put some more hydraulic oil in it. That did not fix it. Uh, I took it out on a steep bank over there on the other side of the pond dam, going up it, and it wasn't just one set of gears. I know that's a big thing for these. 2010s, 3010s, 4010s, back in the day uh, on the synchro, of course, that's the important thing to note, the synchro transmission. Um, certain gears just eventually go out of them. Most people just learn not to use them. But this was happening in all my gears, uh, all higher gears, of course. It was doing just fine in the lower gears, first, second, and third. I didn't have any issue, but I knew if, if it was slipping in, you know, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, um, obviously we have some clutch issues going on. I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the flywheel. You know, obviously the first thing you'd think is a clutch plate going bad or whatever. That's what one of the people were telling me on the forums. It's like, uh, make sure you don't run that too much because you will ruin your 
flywheel. I'm like, oh yeah, don't worry. It just started doing this, so I'm not going to drive it anymore until I get it figured out. I knew, since I'm a, I used to drive a truck, I know clutches on them have to be adjusted so much before they can be adjusted, the clutch pedal, before a clutch actually needs to be replaced. And uh, I knew there was a clutch adjustment on here somewhere. I just couldn't find it in that book. Like I said, it's a really cheap reprint of the old 2010 manual. So it was a really crappy manual. Uh, I just couldn't find the adjustment. I literally just a few minutes ago posted on yesterday's tractors. Like, that's, that's my next mission. I'm going to go out there and try to find out where the clutch adjustment is. I can't find it. I knew if I crawl around long enough, I knew what I was looking for. I finally found it. It's on the opposite side of the clutch. And uh, like I said, I turned it a full 90 degrees. My clutch pedal was looser than heck. I knew that ain't right. So I turned it back to about only about, you know, 45 degrees, a quarter of a turn. And uh, I, I went and tested it and it was pulling great. It pulled perfectly. That was my problem. It just, the pedal, there's too much play in it. Or don't get me wrong, you know, I don't know the terminology real well. I know, I know what I'm talking about, but I may be saying it wrong, but there's too much play in it or whatever. I guess I could demonstrate here, you know, whenever the clutch was getting right about here is when it was finally starting to take off. And as you can see, that's only about a tenth of an inch between, you know, being disengaged and then engaged. And I think the rule of thumb is it needs to be at an inch. And that might actually be a little bit more than an inch. So really, I just a tiny tiny turn on that screw will fix your problems guys you know I literally have turned it about 10 degrees or 15 degrees you know not even an eighth of a turn and it's already freed it up that much which I, I think you know people are probably laughing at me at this point but when they talk about free travel if there's too much free travel I'm thinking maybe it's whenever the clutch goes up too far it needs to be so tight but I think it was too tight was maybe my possible issue because it was it was really it's really it was really tight all the way up to about here and whenever you know it's all the way down and engaged that's what makes the tractor go so maybe it was just too tight was the issue maybe um, there wasn't enough free travel is my issue is probably what I need to be saying and I might have too much free travel right now so it might need to be adjusted back just a little bit but uh, just from what very little, you know, I've, you know, in my life, I've, my experience, you just, you got to kind of do your research, learn, and you figure things out. And 90% of the time I've been able to figure out just about anything I'm working on. And, um, I think it's good news that the clutch is not going out of this thing. And there's plenty of adjustment that can be done with that screw. Like I just barely turned it. And it, that look how much play it gave it. So I think I think I got my terminology backwards. If someone's watching this video this far in, please correct me because I would love to be corrected. And all I gotta do is ask my dad. That's a big thing. My dad, he's been through so much. I try to take care of things myself, and I didn't want to worry him about this because I knew he just. We've had so much going on. Getting new tires for the front of this tractor tires for the Massey Ferguson and we're missing wheel clamps for it so we can't really drive it so I know that's driving him nuts I didn't want to have to burden him with the bad news the clutch is going out of our little tractor but thank god it's not but he knows what you know the free travel and all that the exact terminology I know what I'm talking about I just may not be saying the right terminology I may have it asked backwards but I know what I'm talking about I know what I'm trying to achieve it's just you know I may be saying it wrong anyways very long video hopefully this was helpful to anyone that watched it in the first two minutes that's the way i gotta do these videos guys i love to talk i love to ramble and i need to get the important information out first that way i know i've made videos in the past that have helped people and seven minutes is just too long for them you know I, it takes me seven minutes to get to the the core of the video title and what they're looking for and i understand that but anyway I hope this helps some people out. I love this little tractor. I know it's got a really bad reputation. The 2010, I guess they consider it kind of a, one of the worst tractors John Deere made because it had so many problems. You know, hydraulic pump going bad, clutch, clutch goes out of them, I guess. I don't know. But 
I feel like anything you have, no matter how temperamental it could be, if you just take care of it, um, it'll last a long time. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. And I'll see you all later. I guess if you're here just for this video, maybe I won't see you later. But if you're a regular subscriber, thank you for coming back. And I'll see you later. Got the garden all planted. Got the sweet corn planted right out here. Two more weeks and we'll do that little bitty patch down there. And then, uh, yeah, maybe I'll make a video hopefully here soon about all that. I know I said I was going to make a video about uh, planting, showing off the planter and stuff. But... It's a lot of work running that planter and then trying to get cameras set up. I didn't have anyone really to help me. So, yeah, uh, I'll probably make a video once the corn starts growing. And then, of course, we've got one little bitty patch left down there. Won't take me long, probably 20 minutes to plant it. I might set up a camera and do it then. So, anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Once again, see you later.